Jackal here. And welcome to another installment of Service Bulletin Classics. I'm sitting here in the library of my mobile home just reading all about gas small engines. Today we're going to reach far back into the Service Bulletin Classics library from Briggs and Stratton for an oldie but a goodie. Oh, let's pick this one. Oh, here's a good one. May 10th, 1960. This is an oldie but a goodie. This one focuses on why you should never clean a spark plug by abrasive blasting method. Back in 1960, three engines that showed extreme wear in a very short time were brought to our attention. Upon investigation, our service department found that the operator of the engines, which were on snow plows, had run them with the choke nearly closed causing the spark plug to shoot up and foul. Then the spark plugs were cleaned in a spark plug cleaning machine using an abrasive material. Examination of the engine showed no defects. We then duplicated on new engines all operating procedures used by the owner including blast cleaning the plugs in a commonly used spark plug cleaning machine. Blowing out the plugs in the normal manner, in a few hours the engines were very badly worn, both in the bore and on the crank pin journals. Hmm. We repeated this test on more engines, which the same result excessive wear after a relatively few hours of running. Investigation showed the cause to be abrasive material introduced into the engines by way of the spark plug. Although instructions with spark plug cleaning machines call for solvent cleaning to remove oil deposits before blasting, Calls at several service stations convinced us that few, if any, cleaning machine operators degreased the plugs. Our tests showed that normal air blast cleaning of the plug is not effective as much abrasive material is left in the plug. That is the culprit. After the engine is operated, the material left in the plug falls into the working parts of the engine, causing destructive wear. Another test procedure was to blast clean dirty plugs in the normal manner, then wash them thoroughly in gasoline. Following this procedure, we were able to wash out a considerable amount of grit. To get an idea of the way in which spark plugs are being blast cleaned in the field, we had two plugs cleaned at each of five local filling stations. When we washed them out in gasoline, we collected the following amounts of sandblasting grit from each plug. Station number one, 372 milligrams. Spark plug two, 216 milligrams. Station number two, 88 milligrams. Spark plug number two, 47 milligrams. Station number three, 216 milligrams. Spark plug number two, also 216 milligrams. Station number four, 47 milligrams. Spark plug number two, 67 milligrams. Station number five, 32 milligrams. Spark plug number two, 34 milligrams. 
Certainly, engines cannot live with the highly abrasive material put in the plug by the blast cleaning method, since some of it soon finds its way into the engine. In our test, spark plugs which contain even a small amount of grit cause considerable wear after a few hours of operation. A residue of 200 to 250 milligrams of grit will fill a circle approximately the size of a nickel. The engines tested had the same internal appearance as many of the engines which have been returned to us with complaints of short engine life. Scratched or scored cylinder balls, extreme amounts of smooth wear on crank pin crankshaft journals, and very high ring wear. The grit which can be introduced into the engine as a result of improperly clean spark plugs may well account for cases of unexplainable wear in which there is no evidence of abuse or neglect on the part of the operator. So, what have we learned? We learned not to clean a spot plug with abrasive method of cleaning in one of those sandblasters. Spot plugs are so cheap, you just buy a new one. So that's it for today's Service Bulletin Classics. Tune in next week when we'll have a new classic. And there's your dinner.